and welcome back to Stardew Valley. This is Sadie. And Chibius. And we are going. What are we going to do today, Chibs? I don't know what we're going to do today. Doesn't involve two pink teachers and a teddy bear. No, actually. Not this time. Not this time. That's a safe answer. So I have a quest from yesterday that is asking for a gold bar to carry. So I just threw a little bit of gold in a furnace, get that going. It is the 5th of fall, so none of my crops are quite ready yet. Oh, correction, the sunflowers are sunflowering. Looks like this corn here might be ready, yep. So a few things. Um, ancient fruit, which we did, of course, uh, prior to this, that is still growing. Oh, nice, three of them. Um, and basically everything that's still, the corn and things that carried through from last season to this one, those are in fact still going. So we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna do our thing. That is good. And uh, Chibi's got a little bit of a sore throat today, so our discussion was that I would do the bulk of the narrating to make it easy. However, there is something I do want to comment on before we get too much further in the game. Recording. Yeah. Okay. Uh, multiplayer is still in the works. The reason we don't have it now is the devs aren't exactly happy with the progress. And how, you know, well the multiplayer is going at the moment. I am totally okay with that though. I would rather a developer say, you know what, it isn't yet doing what we want it to do, than release something, pretend it's okay, when everyone can see it's not. Because to me that's ten times worse. If I have to wait a month, I have to wait a month. If you tell me the thing I've waited for is finally done, and then I find out it's not, I will be way more To throw one more duck in in our incubator. Oh, yeah, it's a fishing tournament today. On my game. That sounds adorable. I, it is the 5th of fall, which is a Friday. And I'm just sort of running around picking up and harvesting everything that's coming. Overnight. I wish I could say I could do that, but it's still winter in my game. Winter is a mighty fine time to get everything else to do. Yep. Eggs go into the mayonnaise machine. Milk is going to go into our cheese maker. I just went ahead and tossed a uh, poppy into the uh, seed maker to get poppy seeds. Those, of course, are a summer crop, but had a random spare poppy and get some seeds for next year. Into the house, put away the groceries from the day. Like, I still find it amusing that essentially we're playing that we are playing chores the game. Uh, especially since, you know, my absolute love of doing actual real life chores. Yeah. <laughs> Cooking, but I'm kind of a third. Oh, that's cool. 
All right, let's go scythe a little grass while we wait. Now, as you guys probably remember, I got a little vigorous scythe grass and uh, ended up with no grass there for a while, or no extra grass to make hay. And so I'm trying to be very judicious in my scything. Yeah. I'm also trying to scythe areas away from um, the barn as much as possible to encourage the animals not to stray too, too far. So far it appears to be working. I've got all of this over here I can harvest and then I've got a fair bit down here. Gonna kind of let the grass grow as much as we can here. We bring in more animals, especially since it is fall, and we are gonna need to fill up for winter. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot. So, right now the animals can still go out, get their own grass. They're not especially pleased about not having a room service, but you do what you can. Yep. Yep. What about you, Tibbs? Having to do any compromising with your animals yet? I love the peacefulness of Stardew Valley. There's something very zen about it. It's sort of like Animal Crossing. There's just a zen to it that's not... It is easy to sort of curl up and be happy. Yeah. Yeah, like right now I've bought five spare pieces of paper. So, any one rainy day and everybody stays home, and then I'm running a deficit again. So, I'm gonna have to be real careful now. Yeah. And, well, all of our crops are cropping, because that's what's doing. I'm gonna just mosey on into town. Let's see, carrot. Carolina. I am still terrible remembering which NPC is on the screen here. Green hair. Wife of here, I believe. Ah. Okay, so that makes it easy. Here in Pierre's, which is the short one, you can actually go into the back, through the score. And this here is sort of the... For a long time I thought it was a theater, it's actually the church. It's a lot of gold for our church, but okay. And then here is Caroline and Pierre's house. Their fridge is loaded with fresh veggies. It sounds actually... Really kind of adorable. It's just, it's this whole adorable, you know, <laughs> I can actually get into everyone's room in here. Did not know that. However, Caroline is not at home. Sometimes they're having the exercise class in here too. I'm up to nine hearts with Penny. Girl. Why are you so mean?
Like, at some point, I just want her to be like, oh, you don't smell as bad as I thought. Like, that would work. <laughs> I imagine she's not at Johamar, since, like, that is her husband's direct competition. But I'm running out of places to find her. Ah, you can actually... Taco sauce for babies. Oh my gosh. So I clicked on one of the... I just noticed that you can, like, read the bottles on the shelves. First one I click on, taco sauce for babies. That sounds like a very you thing to do. Uh, take me to the emergency room sauce. There's my plate. <laughs> Unbearable torturous blaze sauce. Searing pain sauce. Inferno sauce, fire sauce, hot sauce. I might have found my room. I'm just saying. <laughs> yep, all that sounds. I I need it all. <laughs> hey. Caroline. Caroline has green hair. Yay. She wanted a gold. I like how she's like, I need a spare gold bar. Like, eh, you got one lying around, right? <laughs> I do. So it's not that she's wrong. It's that she just assumes I've got a spare gold bar lying around. And yet, I do. If I ever finish... I had a friendship bundle with Marnie. And let's see. Enchanter, chefs, diet. Yep, so I did finish her fodder bundle. However, I have an apple, which is her favorite fruit. So, let's slip on into the saloon and give Marnie out. Alright, it is time to go process these geodes and then upgrade my watering can from copper to steel. So, what I'm hearing is, do you have geodes? <laughs> I also have a loud as frick cat. You I do. do. Hi, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> and it is now 7 p.m. in Surrey Land, so we're going to start moseying on back to the farm. Do I want to upgrade my hoe? Do you want to upgrade your hoe? <laughs> I will say my hoe is my only thing I've not upgraded. Yes, yes, you heard it here first. Sadie is still using a cheap hoe. Honestly, if you plant, you know, right after you harvest, then you're not going to have untilled dirt. Mm-hmm. It's all about home management here in Stardew Valley. <laughs> and I can make these buns all day, man. It, they don't get better. Now well, you're going to be the one making most of the buns today. My throat... My everything is blah. Oh, you're the only person I know... Like, everybody else gets a cold. You get the plague. And, like... I, it's not cool, man. I'm like, oh, poor Chippy. And then I'm like, you know, yeah, he's just sort of dying. It's cool. I'm not saying stop dying. I'm saying stop dying. Blarg, I am dead. Yep. So I've got one inch of fruit left. I'm going to toss that in our acetomatic. <laughs> make more inch of fruit. I find as long as I, you know, keep the one from every group going in, I do have a few plants down here still. So. I try to have at least one seed on me at all times. And off we go into bed.
And the money keeps rolling in. What are you currently working up to save up for chips? I am not sure yet. At the moment, it's upgrading tools. Speaking of... Um... Oh, I don't have enough money now. Mm. So, we got a letter from Caroline. Uh, parsnip soup. Parsnips. And George sent us rocks. And... Gus wants a fresh lobster for his lobster base. <laughs> and while that sounds, in theory, wonderful, um, that would kill me. I am massively allergic to shellfish. So, um, part of me is like, you you go on with that lobster bisque, and part of me is like, oh my god, death. But I'll check the fridge in case I do have a square lobster in there. I have crayfish in there. And crap. I have things that will kill me sitting in the fridge. Thank goodness it's a video game. And it's raining. It looks like I have one thing to pick over here. Yep. Another ancient fruit. And we've got our apple and our pomegranate. That now is one of every fruit tree. Glad I decided to go get all that hay as now it is raining and every animal stays in their barn during rain. I'm all for going out in the rain. Uh, unless it's pouring down puppies and kittens, then it's like, uh, I'm staying inside, yo. Nice, I just got a gold star. Oh. Alas, it's not the large milk, and that's what I need to finish up that one. I may be able to finish a bundle today. I can't believe yeah. it. You can't believe it's done bundled? <laughs> Alright, I can it. finish the winter bundle. Nice. Good job, Chib. No. No. No, I don't want to eat it. Oh dear. I was like, are you sure you want to eat this flower? That will give you no energy. <laughs> Not really your thing, eh? Not really my thing. Winter seeds. Nice. I see another patch of grass just sort of in the middle here. Can I actually plant those or in winter, or is it going to be I need a greenhouse? If you plant winter seeds in the winter, um, what you get is uh, the uh, winter foraging crops. So if there's one you need, that can give you a shortcut to it. Found a whole patch of grass in the middle of the forested area. So I'm just sort of going to take out some of that. get ourselves a little bit more room in here as well as restocking the very 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 limited space that we have in this I had to take a few treats out to get back out but that's fine okay I think I'm gonna plant the uh, winter seeds yep Because it's one of those, almost everybody likes the crocus. Yep. I am getting some really interesting feedback there. So, I turned you down a little bit. Uh, of course, both of us show up on the recording regardless because of how we set this up. Yeah. 
Uh, it might also be too. I haven't quite figured out how much space these speakers like to give. So it might be that your voice plus the bass, because I've got the thunderstorm going on, might be trying to outcompete each other. Yeah. What if what I said is yes, you are in fact all about that bass. Mm. I'm not singing the whole. Thing. Yeah, I don't blame you. Hmm. Just need the lobster. So I guess that means that I should go <laughs> check the crab pots. <laughs> Remember, like two minutes ago, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna plant these seeds." Do you still have them on you? Uh, and, and then a minute before that, it's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go upgrade my hoe." Mm-hmm. Are we having problems with our seeds and our hose? <laughs> Good thing there's still some soil tilled. And then Chibi had problems with both his seeds and his hose here on Sturdy Valley. <laughs> and of course I would see wiggly worms. As you have no hope? As I have no hope. Kent wants a Joha Cola. So, you actually can get them from the vending machine in here. And people give you, basically, they you get nothing. You deliver it. But you get friendship points. And friendship points are totally worth it. So, for an extra, you know, 10-step walk, you occasionally will get these from fishing as well. Um, they show up in the trash a lot. So I think that gives us an idea of the fine quality of the Joha Cola brand. Cola? What do you think it tastes like? I think it tastes like the off-off brand of colas. So something that even Shasta is like, nah. -uh. Right. And I believe Shasta is the Pepsi tasting one. It is. Huh. So when you talk to, uh, good God, what is her name? See, I'm bad at this. I'm actually this bad at real life people's names. When you talk to Jody, she tells you that the way to get on Vincent, her son's good side, is to give him pink cake. I have so many people that are at one or zero hearts. I'm a bad person. I only have one that has zero hearts. And that's because I never see him. Ever. The wizard? No, actually. Flint? Elliot. Ah. You have to go visit the beach a lot to find out. smelt a gold, gold bar and then I'm gonna go visit the mines for a little bit and Gus wants an earth crystal do you remember what floors they show up on? Uh, no but I can get a sheep <laughs> so beep beep it's a sheep let's name it beep <laughs> And I'm a little annoyed that you got that darn song stuck in my head eternally. I have now moved to Beep the Sheep. <laughs> so, I shouldn't tell you that it's also on Spotify? No, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go buy like another 10 grass plugs. Put them all on the one side so that they can grow the rest of fall. And restock my hay that way. Because 50 gold per piece of hay, that makes animals really unprofitable over winter, even with the more expensive ones. Yeah. He still hasn't found what he's looking for. Alright. There we go. Grabbed a few more seeds. Let's get these in the ground. Are you on the first day still or the second day? 3 p.m. day two. if I could find the stairway down in the mine. Game says no. There's a chibi we all know and he gets lost just like so. And he's looking for the stairway down to the basement. <laughs> I'm gonna have that stick in my head all day now. That's okay. in here. Ooh. Or we could be totally out of room. That's a thing, right? Possibly. It could possibly be a thing that I'm completely out of room. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm trying very hard to, like, keep decent chest management going. I don't think I'm winning. But in theory, there is, you know, rhyme and reason. Now look on this earth crystal. something we should talk about on camera, but I can't think of it right now. Fair enough. Okay, so... Let's think. Streaming, streaming, that's right. Streaming. streaming. You see, we might be, like, the most awkwardly forgotful, forgetful host ever. So let's do this. Um, Tibby has recently gotten us set up for streaming, which we love. Um... Two reasons. First, because you all love us so much, right? Mm -hmm. And secondly, because some of the things that uh, are getting recorded are longer games, um, like Dawn of War. And, dear lord, do you have any idea how long it takes to get up a two hour long episode? For more bandwidth than it would actually be to stream it. Yep. So, uh, Chippy in his computer wizardry uh, got us all set up for some streaming. Um, we will be starting our new streaming schedule as soon as we, you know, figure it out. But uh, Evan will be streaming Dawn of War. Eric will be streaming some of the longer daily challenges from the game Balloons. 
um, PDF five. That's when he's been playing. Uh, as well as that does have some online play um, with multiplayer. So that is coming up. Um, Chibi and I, once Stardew Valley goes multiplayer, will be uh, streaming and recording that. Uh, as always, any streams that go, you know, get streamed also get converted to video. So if you can't make it on, you know, 3 a.m. on a, you know, whatever, because you're in Japan or you're in Australia, that's okay. You can or still we just decide to record it 3 a.m. You know, there might be days where we record something at 3 a.m. But, yep, trying to make sure that we spread a little bit more love. Uh, as well as, you know, we want to be accessible. And fun. Because if you're not having fun, why are you watching? And at the same time, if Chibi and I aren't having fun, we'll find a different game. Um, and I know I'm saying this as I'm literally getting lost in a forest in my backyard. I think half the reason people watch me game is to watch me get lost in my own backyard. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, so we have streaming coming up, um, as well as other goodies, uh, you know, to be announced. New games are coming. Um, Jimmy and I are right now discussing our brand new series. Not going to tell you what it is yet, because we haven't decided which day is our first day. But we have decided that we are going to do a loving tribute to our favorite game ever. And we've been discussing for a couple days now what it would take to be the most appropriate loving tribute to the game. That for both of us changed, like, life. Um, everyone's got at least one game that after you played it, nothing was ever quite the same for you. And uh, so we are dividing, we are conquering, we are spending, um, I mean, it's a time investment, the things that we're talking about. And uh, we want you guys along for our rides. And, you know, nothing but love. Yep, yep. So, as long as you guys keep watching and keep uh, enjoying as you do, we'll be here. Yep. We'll keep recording. Because, le let's be honest, Chibi and I will keep playing games together, you know, regardless. That, that's our bro time. Although, you know, I, I'm a rather odd looking bro. Hmm. Uh, but this is, you know, our bud time. And we'll keep recording videos as long as there's somebody who wants to sit back and watch and have fun. That's sort of the whole idea. So, exciting things to come on Epic Line Southwest. Um, but yes, if you want to see what happens when two very devoted super fans decide that it's go big or go home for your favorite series and your favorite games, we will, uh, we will be delivering on that promise. That we will. So, it's end of my night over here. How you doing, Chibs? I just started the next day, but if you wanted to stop the recording and then pick up later. That sounds good. Let's pick this up in just a moment. This is Sadie. And Chibi Ace. And we're signing off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.